We found her. All this post on Reddit last night of a missing dog happened to be a white golden. I'm realizing that she might be easy to see from the air if we find her before snow. Earlier that week, I had spotted my own white dog from the air when flying, and I think that was why it clicked that I might have been able to help. I'm a hiking guide who had never done a search and rescue attempt, but luckily that day, I had been just an hour away from where Meadow was last seen. So as soon as I was out of work, I took off and started driving towards her last location. I doubted myself many times over the course of that hour drive, but knew I had to at least try and tried to also picture myself seeing her. Before I arrived, the entire town of Andes had been searching tirelessly for Meadow day in and day out. See, Meadow was lost in an area that she didn't even know. She had recently been adopted and before even making it into her new home, had escaped into the woods of Andes. Every day we go out, we say, this is the day we're gonna find her. Even Meadow's original owner, Gary, returned all the way from Ohio to aid in the search efforts. Kind of like losing your child. You know, you're in, you're in a large mall, and all at once you look down and, and the child's gone. I loaded up and left uh, within probably 20 minutes as the time I got the phone call. I could not believe all the people that turned out. There was park rangers, there was young, young kids on ATVs. And then the next morning when I got up and went out to hunt her, I went to that area behind a, a stone wall there and had walked out into the woods, probably, I don't know, an eighth of a mile or so. And, but again, I don't, I don't think I went up the mountain as far as, or back that way as far as you did. When I got to the beginning of the road where she was last seen, I happened to bump into two neighbors and ask if they had any additional information. When they didn't, I continued down the road, looking for a spot that might be a good place to send the drone up. I really had no idea what I was doing. I started by looking from the road and then working down the small creek that ran through the area. People have asked if there was a method that I used, but in reality, I had none. I just started looking and trying to scan and see if there was something that would maybe catch my eye. I didn't know which area that she might be most likely to be in at first. I have followed the creek and then continued pushing on into the forest. Zooming in, trying to lower down a bit. It was a few false alarms after false alarm. It was hard to leave one particular spot and head to the next for the fear that, what if I had missed her? And there was a point in the search where I almost gave up and it was self-doubt. I didn't think that what I was doing was going to go anywhere, but something told me that it, you had to push on. There were a few more areas that you could check and I knew she had to be out there somewhere and I couldn't stand the thought of leaving without her. If you had a battery life and daylight, you can't go home yet. At the last second, he saw a small white dot on the forest floor. It was metal. It was alarming at first because there was no movement, but as I was coming down again, uh, her head looks up and uh, it told me she was alive and she was there. I really couldn't believe what I was seeing, and that's probably why you see me moving around and trying to double check so many times. I tried to start getting my bearings and understand where she was in relation to me, in addition to dropping the GPS coordinates from above. You can see in the flight path that after the first time leaving her, I actually returned again. 
It was one of the hardest things I had to do was taking eyes off of her. Dogs are quite often seen after they've been lost, but getting to them and getting them was a whole different story. All right, I was able to get a visual on Meadow from the air. Pretty sure I'm gonna be trespassing, but it looks like she is stuck. She had a leaf on and the snow melted enough to be able to see her from the air. I did a few passes. I can't believe it. I'm heading back through some sticks to go get this girl. Yeah, I was, I was tickled to death when I heard her bark at you. When we were up on the mountain on Tuesday night, late, to, late Wednesday night, like a couple weeks ago, I hollered out and whistled for her, and I heard, and I, I swear it was her barking down in that area, but I never could find her. I, I walked all over that area. I, down. Never... I was 942 feet from where I parked to where she was. You could have had some guardian angels with you. As I got closer, here, I quickly girl. realized that she wasn't still restrained okay, by baby. a leash as I thought she had been from the air. She was moving around freely Metal. and that meant that I wasn't going to have an easy Not time funny. of getting her. Come here, baby. Madam, come. Come here, baby. Come here. Meadow, come. It's okay. Hey. Come here. Come here. Meadow, come. Meadow, come. Here, girl. Here, girl. It's okay. It's okay. Meadow. So her leash is not still attached and she's laying up there. I'm trying to show her that I'm not a threat because we just had a little game of chase. It's been now a few minutes. I have no cell phone service. I'm afraid to leave, but I need help. I stupidly didn't bring food. It took multiple attempts before I could get close enough to try to make a leap on top of her. And then finally... she was gonna run again. So, I had to just carry her down. You excited? Oh, yeah, look at that happy puppy. Eh? Oh. And for a call back, apparently she's been gone like 10 days at least, so. Right, girl? You excited to go home? Yeah. It was so far from service that I've just been driving now to the nearest town trying to get enough to keep calling and trying to get in touch with her owners. Right, baby? I still really can't believe that I 
I was able to find her. Uh, it was kind of like a Hail Mary, you know, at least I could say that I tried. I was about to give up. And, you know, I'd gone down to check out a couple white specks that I saw from the air, and it was nothing. And then, on one final pass, I saw that movement. I was like, that's, that's gotta be her. She's uh, here with me in my car. We're, we're both a little shaken up and tired, but... You really have her in your car? She, she is in... She has a pink collar on. She is a white gold. If you send me an address, I'll be there in 10 minutes. Okay, I'm gonna get in the car now. Okay, okay I'll see you shortly. Bye. Bye. There she is. Hey, baby. Where did you find her? Uh, look at oh, she, uh, honey. Look at she broke this, or yeah, she she probably got stuck and and chew. got it off. She either shoot that looks like it could have been a break too. Oh, you're you're our new robot. I, I tell you, my grandkids. As soon as as soon as they saw the post. such an incredible, incredible ride. Uh, never thought that I would be able to bring this this much joy and hope uh, for others, and I'm, I'm really excited to meet Gary, so let's go. Uh... Hello. Uh, I have this for you, Gary. You have what? Those were the two of the propellers used. Oh, oh that's great. And those are, that's for you to... Thank you. <laughs> ...to keep a little piece of the machinery that helped bring her back. Yeah. I want you to see your girl. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll, uh, I'll show you some more of the, the stuff. You want to go see mom? Mm -hmm. Yeah, these people rescued you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cry. 